Hello everyone, this is Dear Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation, which is from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve 2d square minus 3d cube minus 2d square into y equals to 0. Solution. Given differential equation. Two d power four minus three d cube minus two d square into y equals to zero, which is in operator form. F of d into y equals to zero. Again, by comparing these two, we'll get f of d, where f of d equals to two d power four minus 3d cube minus 12d square right now we'll see what is order and degree of our given differential equation we know that operation sorry operator d can is represented sorry operation d is nothing but d by dx then we'll write the upper equation as Firstly, we will multiply all the three terms with y. We we'll get 2d power 4y minus 3d cube y minus 2d square y equals to 0. Now, replace d by d by dx. That is differential operator by d by dx. Then you will get 2 d power 4y by dx power 4 minus 3 d cube y by dx cube minus 2 d square y by dx square equals to zero so here our highest derivative is d power 4 y by dx cube so our order will be 4 and degree we know that highest power of highest derivative is our degree so we have only one highest power of highest degree, right? So, the power of highest degree we are having is 4. The degree is, sorry, 1, not 4. Power of highest derivative is our degree. Now, we need to find the general solution to the given equation. So, we'll find the general solution using the auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 for f of m. Replace differential operator by m, then you'll get f of m equals to 2m power 4 minus 3m cube minus 2m square. Then, our auxiliary equation will be 2m power 4 minus 3m cube minus 2m square equals to 0. Right? Now, we need to find the roots to this auxiliary equation or factors to this polynomial right now take see you're having m power 4 and cube m square that is you're having m square in all these three terms so let's take m3 common sorry m square common from all these three terms and you get m square times 2m square minus 3m minus 2 equals to 0 right now, let's factorize the polynomial 2m square minus 3m minus 2. We'll get some factors, okay? So, let's split minus 3m as minus 4m plus m. Now, we can take 2m common from the first two terms. We'll get 2m times m minus 2 plus the next two terms will be the same. 
Now we are having m minus 2 in both the terms. Let's, so let's take m minus 2 common from these two terms. We'll get m minus 2 times 2m plus 1. So the factors of 4m power 4, 3m cube minus 2m square is m square into factors of this polynomial will be m minus 2 into 2m plus 1, right? Then m square into m minus 2 into 2m plus 1 equals to 0. Now by equating each factor to 0, we'll get the roots. That is split m square as m into m. Now equate every factor to 0. Then you'll get m equals to 0, m equals to 0, m minus 2 equals to 0, 2m plus 1 equals to 0. Already you're having m equals to 0, right? So these two are roots. And here you'll get m equals to 2. 2m equals to minus 1. From this you'll get m equals to minus 1 by 2. Then m equals to 0, 0, 2, minus 1 by 2 are the roots to our auxiliary equation. Okay. So now we are having two equal roots and two distinct roots. So if m1 equals to m2 are equal and m3, m4 are distinct roots, that is m1, m2 are equal roots and m3, m4 are distinct roots, then our general solution is y equals to for equal roots, c1 plus c2x into e power m1x plus for these two distinct roots, we get some constant into e power m3 root x plus another constant c4 into e power another distinct root into x. Now, our general solution will be therefore the general solution is y equals to c1 plus c2 x into e power m1. Here m1 equals to m2 equals to 0, right? Then you'll have 0 into x here. Plus c3 e power, take 2 as your m3, 2 into x. This is your m3. And you can take this as m4. Plus c4 into e power distinct root 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2 into x. Then our general solution will be y equals to c1 plus c2x into e power 0 into x. 0 plus c3 e power 2x plus c4 e power minus x by 2. That is y equals to c1 plus c2x into e power 0 is 1 plus c3 e power 2x plus c4 e power minus x by 2. Or y equals to c1 plus c2x plus c3 e power 2x plus c4 e power minus x by 2. So let's see what we get using synthetic division method. I'll show you the roots obtained using synthetic division method.
So from m square, we'll get m equals to 0 and m equals to 0, which are two roots, right? Now, we'll consider this polynomial m, 2m squared minus 3m minus 2, and we'll find factors using synthetic division. We'll find factors of this, that is 2m squared minus 3m minus 2. So let's see which m satisfies this polynomial. Let's try for m equals to 1, then you'll get 2 minus 3 minus 2, which is equals to minus 3, not equals to 0. So 1 does not satisfy the polynomial. Now let's try for minus 1. Plus 3 minus 2 equals to 5 minus 2, 3. This also not equals to 0. So m equals to minus 1 does not satisfy the polynomial. So now let's try for 2. Two twos are 4. Minus 3 twos are 6. Minus 2 equals to 2 fours are 8. Minus 6 minus 2 is minus 8, which is equal to 0. So, 2, m equals to 2 satisfies this polynomial. Now, place the equations minus 2, minus 3, 2, for m equals to 2, 2 plus 0, 2, 2 2 is a 4, minus 3 plus 4, 1. 2 1s are 2, minus 2 plus 2 is 0, right? So here m equals to 2, from this we'll get m minus 2 equals to 0, then m minus 1 will be a factor, one factor to this polynomial, right? m minus 2 is one factor to this polynomial. Now we'll get another factor from this two numbers, 2m plus 1. So now, if you take m equals to minus 1 by 2, this 2 gets cancelled and minus 1 plus 1 becomes 0. Right? Or... Or we are having 2m plus 1, which is another factor. You can equate it to 0. Then you'll get 2m equals to minus 1. Then m equals to minus 1 by 2. It's simple, right? So from this, you'll get one factor. 2m plus 1. So, this polynomial has two factors, m minus 2 into 2m plus 1. If you want, you can check it. m into 2m, 2m square, m into 1, and minus 2 into 2m is minus 4m, minus 2 into 1, minus 2, which is equal to 2m square, minus 4m plus m is minus 3m, minus which gives a polynomial, right? Product of these two gives a polynomial. Then m into m into m minus 2 into 2m plus 1 equals to 0. Now equate every factor to 0 to find roots. Okay, from m equals to 0, you'll get roots directly. And from these two factors, that is the next two factors, we'll get two more roots, m equals to 2. So here the roots are m equals to 0, 0, 2, minus 1 by 2. So our solution will be y equals to c1, two roots are equal, right? c1 plus c2x into 
e power 0 into x plus for distinct root and for distinct root right we'll get y equals to c1 plus c2x e power 0 into x is 0 since e power 0 is 1 then you'll get c1 plus c2x plus c3 into e power 2x plus c4 e power minus 1 into x minus x by This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.